So now we move on to the panel. And first, we're going to hear from um, Anna Bakia, who's speaking from Lugano in Switzerland. And uh, she's going to talk about upshifting our intuition. And she's a researcher in human sciences and cognitive sciences. And she's been focusing on the nature of cognitive, creative, and intuitive processes. Uh, and she is a laureate of the Luxembourg World Peace Prize and life member of the World Peace Forum and founder and director of the Consciousness Institute in Lugano. And her educational programs are even active within some of the programs of the United Nations. So what a pleasure to have you with us, Anna. So do share your perspective with us. Thank you. Thank you, David, for your introduction. And thank you again to Irving Lasso for the invitation to contribute to, to this book. My focus, as you have said, is the about the fundamental role of intuition for our great uh, evolutionary upshift. And my question is, what if man constantly follows the intuitive information emerging from life, from the field of infinite latent possibilities, and directly grasp in, grasps insight and orientation in tune with the existence of every living being within a vital co-participation and symphony with the nature of life. Recently, the nature of life has revealed to us that the life, the life which we are, constantly affirms and recreates life in a constant process of self regenerating autopoiesis. And in such process, a constant dialogue of resonance happens between the living field of existence and every man. An analogic local and non-local intuitive dialogue which bestows man as an instrument of creation and evolution of life. And today, a vast and new intuitive path open up, opens up to experience the universe which we are, to grasp the eloquence emerging from any interrelation, to see, to see again, to rethink limits starting from ourselves. But such perspectives calls for a substantial distinction between, on one hand, objective description and definition, we can say map, to which rational knowledge and scientific method are still confined. On the other, the unrepeatable, sensitive experience of reality, territory. And in the, in the currently prevailing substitution of territory with map, we can face analysis and diagnosis which reflect a rational mind frame, mind frame, but which risk to be dangerously detached, both from the an unquantifiable and dynamic inputs of life, what a person feels, perceives, thinks, and detached from the living intuitive information that are sources of synthony and vital coherence. And today, we are leaving the upshift from the current age of rational and logic thinking, with, which risks to confuse reality with the description and definition of it, to the age of analogic intuitive intelligence and insight, where man is informed by life, through an unexplored intuitive information to which we can give form of creation coherent with the nature of life, the life which we are. And I have named inning the ordinarily unexplored insight and intuitive intelligence in which intuition, intuit, intuitive person and intuiting are one only process. Inning is different from any ordinary definition of intuition while it expands all our consciousness from logic thinking towards an analogic intuitive 
wisdom. A wisdom, I underline, which grasps from direct experience that knowing means, means recognizing here in space-time what we have known since always. A wisdom that opens us to the conscious experience that what emerges reveals what we conceive as possible. A wisdom leading us to experience knowledge, not a rational detachment, but rather as resonance and co-participation, a resonance between subject and object, which are not to any longer, as Dr. Paolo Renati has written. In the evening training, we recognize that the intuitive information emerges from the field, a uh, local field, of the infinite possibilities of existence. And when men, like a powerful antenna, receive such intuitive information, is informed by it and is naturally inspired to bring it to light and to give it an explicit form, the form of words, of answers, of projects, of works, of solutions, of, of invention. And in this way, man becomes a conscious instrument of the evolutionary creative process. We can say instrument of the symphony of life. So in the inning process, the unique eloquence emerging from all of our daily interrelations pours out waves of intuitive information, which is the source of an extraordinary regenerating creative energy. An energy, I underline, an energy of evolutionary transformation, which inspires the innate human responsibility innate responsibility, the concrete ability, as we know, to offer resp responses, perspective, and genius solution coherent with the emerging questions and needs. And while such creative energies even inspires a natural effortless operating, which allows us to discover actions which don't ask energy from us, but which offer, energy, uh, offer, offer us energy as we will see. Since always intuition has led men to give form to unique works of art, discoveries which have marked the history, such as the will, the radio communication, the microprocessors. But today, in the evident complexity, inning enlightens in us a new living, living insight about the nature of life from which we are not other, the nature, the life which we are, and empowers us to an expanded intuitive understanding ready to answer questions which haven't yet found words to be expressed. The intuitive information constitutes a natural compass which orients men towards solutions wider than the foreseeable. The intuition of such solution emerge from the non-local field of the infinite latent possibilities. And such invi invisible possibilities are unveiled as intuitive images, as, um, as was the image, for instance, of the wheel before it was discovered, an image visible exclusively to the eye of the discoverer. No one else can see the statue, for instance, which he is going to create. And in our space-time dimension, the discoverer will reveal such intuitive image by giving it a visible form, verbal, sculptural, musical. Such a form is not created by, volun is not created by voluntary choices. But, but we'll, we can see it arising from our artisan hands, which proceed following intuition with an original unawareness. Like the painter's brush on the canvas moves by itself. 
The eating creative process implies the art of openness and transformation. Poetry of life, of our innate artisan attitude, which we could say such art is inspired by the poetry of life, the harmony of the invisible resonances which create our life, a poetry revealed by the intimate force and naturality by which we bring an intuition to light, a spontaneity, where the intuitive doing emerges from our innate artisan attitude to give form to the intuition which touches us, which orients us like a compass, and which we are following incredibly. Thus, Picasso said, I don't search, I find. And there is no protocol to apply. We cannot choose to intuit. We cannot choose to intuit. But only be invited by intuition, called, inspired, regenerated. And within an acquired intuitive insight, we begin to look towards the future, future like we knowingly look at the past where we recognize the non-casualness and meaning of any event of our lives. Thus, even the human sense of hope gives way to intuitive certainty. In fact, scientists and artists of every age emphasize that intuitive certainty constitutes the most fundamental form of knowledge on the basis of which all subsequent rational investigation proceed. But what we risk to miss is that the emergence of intuitive information is a constant process along our life, occurring, let's say, as a waterfall in every moment. But if we are not accustomed to constantly recognize it, always, I mean, an immense potential of centeredness and evolutionary coherence risks being lost. In fact, the acquired logical mind frame strongly imprints our dual and causal way of thinking and proceeding and constitutes the first obstacle to our natural following intuition. Thus, we risk, risk both that intuition escapes our awareness and that we are distanced from the intuitive processes of symptony and vital resonances cap capable to, of orienting every step of our evolving. In the healing training, we experience that our intuitive intelligence and intuition, we experience them while we recognize that we are touched by it in synchrony with the intuitive information, information which resounds our nature. Thus, with our, we are transformed by it, and we are brought to follow it. And it is such process, it is really, it is this, the process of following and, and resounding, that allows for actions which don't ask energy from us, but which offer us energy. And Peter Mary, Chief Innovation Officer of the Ubiquiti University, University describes such intuitive experience with the following words, life flows through me rather than me trying to run my life. It does not feel like me doing something, but rather it being done, done, some, uh, it being done through me. It being done through me. So in such awareness, the inning experience trains us to catch the intuitive flesh with enlightens the surfer as he follows quick as lightning the unpredictable change of the winds. I mean, the change of events of emerging unpredictabilities. And in such intuitive flesh, the goal is naturally, naturally centered by the acting, and the intuitive man becomes, becomes target, arrows, and archer together. Thus, as surfers, 
we train ourselves to proceed without knowing a moment before how to proceed a moment later, while intuitively we follow the unpredictable wind of the emerging event and we stay elegantly on the constant wave of intuition which is speaking to us and is orienting us always, instant by instant. It is our compass which calls us as instruments of vital creation and evolution unto a living, a living evolutionary upshift. Thank you for following. Thank you so much, Anna. Uh, that's so important what you say. And in fact, this has been going through the network you know for the last 50 years because when i joined 40 years ago i received a, a one sheet paper and it said what we try and do is combine rational analysis with intuitive insight and yeah. and so there's always been an important role for creativity and intuition within the network and you have expressed that beautifully and it's the the new really comes from within and um, through this creative process it can't just be engineered yeah so i think that's a very powerful evolutionary force so 